this week's episode of Walkthrough Wednesday. Uh, we really appreciate you watching this every week. Um, thank you for your support. We're starting this week with this Jeep you see behind me uh, that is kind of split apart right now. Um, if you didn't know, Jeeps are really just big Legos. So, take the top piece, separate from the bottom piece. Uh, now, more exciting news though, we are putting a 5.7 Hemi uh, on this frame, taking the V6 out and putting a supercharger on top of it then. So this Jeep will be going back up to Virginia with our friends at Wells Custom Jeep. Uh, this is a part of our hashtag powered by Petty. Basically to explain what that is, is, we work with other shops to supply the power for their build and they do the suspension, wheels and tires, however they'd like. But underneath the hood, you've got Petty Power. So stay tuned because we've got a JK Supercharged 5.7 on the way. Okay, so the second new project arrival we have here at the shop is a brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee Track Hall, which if you don't know, comes with the 707 horsepower Hellcat engine, which is exhibit A right here. Uh, and you might be wondering, why have they taken the 707 supercharged Hellcat engine out? Well, because that's not enough horsepower. So we're gonna uh, up this, up the horsepower numbers on this drastically. Um, we're still working through the plan, so stay tuned. We'll keep you updated as possible. Uh, but this motor's definitely coming apart getting built to a much bigger cubic game, so stay tuned, really excited for this. We're also working with, who are we working with on suspension? All right, motion control. Motion control on a custom suspension for this track hawk. Um, this is the first track hawk that we've had in here at the shop, and we've also already got another one, uh, should be coming on the way here in the next few weeks, so if you know somebody with a track hawk looking for more power, we can put it right here. But there's nothing right now. Brian, how's the bumper going? It's getting there. If you remember last week when we saw Brian and his uh, Chevelle front bumper, we just had a little bit of a wire frame. Mm -hmm. uh, it's now all been filled in and looks really, really good, if you ask me. Just working on uh, redoing all the bracketry on the back side of it now. So pretty much got the, the face and the aesthetics like we wanted it. So now we're working right. on the structure a little bit. Get a shot of the, the vents we put in here. Hundred percent fabricated from scratch by that man right there. Really, by Tony awesome. Hancock. By Tony Hancock, yeah, yeah. Don't let him tell you any different either. So, all right, thank you, Brian. You're welcome. Thank you. Right now, Tim and I are in the brand new hauler that we just received. Uh, brand new Featherlight trailer from our friends at Trailcon Leasing, and we just outfitted it with a brand new Mac toolbox. We're going to show you guys the full tour of the whole trailer and new canopy and everything next week on location from Hot Rod Power Tour. So tune in then. Uh, here's a little sneak peek of that. We just finished up uh, one of our most recent 825 package Hellcats. Um, this one's got 825 package with headers on it. And we ran it on the dyno this morning. Cut to dyno footage. be out the door here pretty soon. Uh, custom hood, stripes on the side, plum crazy purple, of course. Uh, one of the most popular Mopar colors. So we recently learned that our uh, friend Jody is not following our YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know, this is Jody. Right there. How lovely. So she is not following our YouTube channel. And so we are here to solve that problem while she's back in the back doing something I'm sure extremely important. Pretty simple. Those All you gotta do is search Petty's Garage. It's pretty simple. You'd think she was a team player. That's all you have to do. I'm just, just like that, that. there. <laughs> Figured I'd take a stop by Mitch's desk. Yeah, we're ready to do a start, start and install. Yeah. Got an Edelbrock 2650 blower. 2650 blower. New belt. New reading plugs. Yeah. New everything. New everything. So that's for this truck behind us. Yes, sir. And the water drains and we're going to start to rip it apart. You might have noticed a common theme every week is that we're always talking about supercharging F-150s because we do a lot of these things. Uh, really hot ticket item right now. Thank you, man. 
Let's see what Dakota is up to this week. We've been to Mitch's desk. We're now in Dakota Corner. <laughs> so it looks I got a drinking right problem. Okay. Right now, fighting the uh, low temperature radiator bolts, trying to get them in a little bit of a pain. <laughs> I would love to help you with that, but I got to keep walking. <laughs> so, thank you, Dakota. Dakota was a 2.3 or 2.9. Did I say 2.3? He did. It's okay. 2.9? Two nine? It's a 2.9. Two 2.9. Nine. Two nine. What's going on, man? Video crew is me. Video crew. This is the guy. This is the guy right here. You getting anything good? I'm covered in fluid. You're killing me, come here. Oh, this is Chris Sullivan. He's our videographer. So when you see the videos, it actually look really good. He did those. Uh, so we really appreciate him coming out. And he's been covering the, the Mala Camaro build. For Not years. this guy. Not a professional camera guy. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go check out on the Mala Camaro. But, uh, cool. yeah. Good seeing y'all. Yeah. Enjoy. So project update time. Our 1968 uh, Camaro build for Mala is really coming along. It probably looks a lot different than the last time you saw it. I think two weeks ago we showed you this car as it had just come to the body shop. So it had... Uh, brand new replacement panels on it, and you can see where the, uh, the guy's been grinding and welding and everything. So now Kevin and Jeremy have been uh, thrashing hard here for a couple weeks, uh, six sanding days. and blocking. Six days. Six, six days. days. So, uh, Kevin, what stage of the, pro of the uh, process are we at right now? We're at the stage to where we can do our final prime. So Jeremy and I will block sand it, uh, spray with the filler, so we'll do our final prime, and then we can wet sand it and get it ready for. Awesome. Well, it's really coming together nicely. See, they're uh, currently working on fitting up the window trim here. Good shot of that. Got to tighten it up on top of the fender so it's got a smooth transition. Right. Looks pretty, pretty, pretty good at that. Is it? See this? See that? That's on its edge. So right. we'll, we'll fix that where all this is a smooth transition all the way around. Okay. Same thing so, with the bottom. So that's line. next order of business then? Yes. Okay. Hey, Andrew. How's it going? Good. How are you working on? Uh, Dick Ray for Mustang. Well, no holes? Yeah. Get the uh, signature Penny's Garage spoiler. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep. I feel like you're over here in the corner where nobody else can bother you. Are you <laughs> avoiding Jeremy and Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame you. Staying out of their madness. Yeah. 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 If you want to see some of their madness, we're going to cut to a little video from Jeremy and Greg earlier this week. Okay, you ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Molly car. It just come out of the paint booth, or the paint booth with some primer, and we're going to block it. And we're going to unveil the new motor in it. Fire it up! <laughs> so, well, thank you, Andrew. Yeah. We won't take up any more of your time. I appreciate All right. it. So we're going to finish up today's video with uh, two cars. And if you're going to be out on Hot Rock Power Tour next week, you will see uh, either on the tour or at, our, at the Penny's Garage booth. We've got our very own Tim Harrison's uh, 2010 Camaro with the Petty's Garage head and cam package. This car will actually be competing in the sponsor shootout of Hot Rod Power Tour. So he'll be autocross and drag race, burnout, all of that good stuff in this. And this one we just finished, we talked about it last week. It's got a 448 under the hood uh, with exhaust cutouts. And uh, well, I think they should hear the exhaust cutouts. What about you? Most certainly. Yeah. Start it up. six now uh, so we're doing really well keep subscribing keep sharing it with your friends we appreciate it uh, if you haven't subscribed yet there's the button right there 
hit the Petty's Garage logo you see, subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting these every Wednesday. Tune in next week when we come back to you on location from Hot Rod Power Tool. We'll see you guys.